Hey guys, I'm Olivia and you're watching my channel Liv's Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make DIY polymer clay elephant photo holders. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it's not too complicated. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is take a chunk of clay and use it as the body. So you're basically going to use it for the stomach and the neck. So I'm just taking it and I'm making it into a ball and then I'm pinching one of the sides to kind of pinch it up to make the neck. Then you're going to take another ball of clay and you're going to make the head and the trunk. So then you're just going to make this into a ball as well, kind of ovally shaped I guess. And then again take one of the sides and pinch and pinch until you have a long trunk like structure. course just attach the head and the body together what I like to do after I like push them onto each other I like to flatten the crease so I take some clay and I smooth it whether I like smooth up from the body to the head or from the head down I just like to take away that crease and then under the trunk I am using a small like cylinder um, type thing to take the crease away from under there too so it didn't look funny and then this is what it looks like so um, earlier you saw me like kind of throwing the ball against the clipboard and I did that to flatten the bottom so that it would be able to stand better and then from there we're moving on to the legs so I'm taking another color of clay you can use all one color of clay it doesn't matter and I'm making all the legs into this teardrop shape so the ones that are going to wrap around its body need to be longer so that they come from the back and like move to the front you'll see what I'm doing and then the other legs are going to be in front of the elephant's body and those are going to be a little bit shorter but they're all the same shape and then again on the like bottom of the foot I am I am throwing the clay against the clipboard again to make it kind of flat and even. And then right now, if your elephant is not standing on its own, that's okay too because the front legs that we're going to put on right now are going to be the legs that essentially keep the elephant standing, so. Keep in mind the front legs are probably not going to look a thousand percent the same because I redid that so many times and they're just not going to come out the same. And so now moving on to the tail, what you're going to do is you're going to take another small piece of clay and roll it into a thin snake. And then from there, you're just going to attach it um, onto the back of the elephant. And I just kind of did like a little... Um, roll type thing on the back you'll see what I'm doing So 
So after the tail, we work on the ears, and then I'm just taking a ball of clay, cutting it in half, trying to get an even proportioned ear. Trust me, this takes a long time. You're not going to get it on the first try because I definitely didn't. So what you're going to do is basically you're going to make a large flattened teardrop shape but kind of like a soft teardrop shape if that makes any sense you can see the shape that i'm kind of making here um it kind of looks like a rose petal um but you can make the ears any shape you want the way that you think that um are they're cute to you you can make the ears however you really like it's just this is the way that i'm doing it so yeah just know you're not going to get them perfect on the first try So after the ears are made, the body is basically complete and then we're going to take some wire and I'm using a thicker gauged wire but it's very easy to move. So I found this wire in Walmart, it's normally like packaged up for like a dollar um, but I'm just taking it and I'm rolling it to make this kind of like spiral shape. Um, and then that's going to be how the picture, you know, holds or stays. So then you can obviously cut the wire wherever you think you want the wire to be. And then of course you're going to stick a hole in the trunk. And then after you do that, you're going to make sure that you don't want it to go through the bottom the wire to go through the bottom of the trunk. If it does, you can just smooth the clay back over the hole um, but make sure it goes in and out of the trunk a couple of times because you're not going to bake the wire um, with the elephant because if there's paint on it I don't want an explosion happening so after you do that you can bake and make sure to follow the instructions on the, your clay package and then from there you can paint your elephant you can see all the things that I'm doing here I'm painting the eyes and some blush on the cheeks and then I'm also making the ears and the legs kind of polka dotted so um, I'm using two different sizes of paint brushes the ends at least that's how I get my perfect round little circles on the elephants I'm just using the paint brushes and obviously going in with the white and then of course later on you'll see I go back in with the black um, but yeah this is me painting the elephant completed painting you can 
attach the wire back in and this is the point where if you feel like you need to trim it you can so then i'm just sticking the wire back in that hole we made in the trunk and then from there continue to let the paint dry and then once the paint is completely dry we are going to glaze and the wire um the spiral on the top i just kind of bent it um so that it looks kind of you know flat for the picture to lay in so here i'm glazing and after this glaze is done and dry you are completely done with your elephant I just want to pop in here and say too that you do not have to use polaroids for these you can use any kind of pictures you can use regular smaller print pictures for these as well they will hold them so yeah enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up to see more DIYs and other videos from me make sure to subscribe it's the big red button down below and for future videos make sure to comment and take my poll in the corner to tell me what kinds of DIYs you would like to see next thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a terrific rest of your day bye